Great fighters. Okay, you both know your rules. Hey, my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you have any questions? Yep. Do you have any questions? Touch guards, come out fighting. Back up. Gina. So here we go. Three three-minute rounds for the ladies at the 145-pound weight. Carano coming in at 144 and a half. Definitely Gina Carano, four and a half pounds over for Gina Carano and for Caitlin Young. This is their toughest test of their young careers, you and ready? it's going to be interesting to Are see how Let's much fight. the weight issues have affected Gina Carano in this fight. A weight equals power in punching and power in kicking. It may be a slight advantage for Gina, but the whole psychology of not being on weight, of not being professional, not being there, that's hard to deal with. And there, Young going down. Carano on top. Young trying to put Carano in close guard. Carano, a female of first, the first American woman to win a championship Muay Thai title in the Mecca of Muay Thai Thailand. What baseball is to the United States, that's what the king of all martial arts is to Thailand. And early on, great action. I've had a chance to announce female fights all over North America. They always end up stealing. Oh, oh. big right hand. A looping, can-opening right hand. And a front kick by Carano. Another right hand. And Young answers with a stiff right hand of her own. These ladies are ready to lump each other up. Gina can exercise that power if she counter -stri strikes quickly and gets back to protect herself. She's leaving herself a little bit open. Nice cut kick by Young, who starts to close in now. The question is, how long can Carano go? at 144 and a half, and Caitlin Young takes her to the ground. Well, she's working a bit of rubber guard from the bottom there. Karina using, uh, Carano using her right leg to wrap around and try to get arm control. So right now, Carano with Young in open guard, trying to close it all the way. Not able to right now. Young coming off her first loss. It was via submission. She's really dedicated herself to not only learning submissions, but submission defense. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how she fares in this position. Again, Gina Carano also working her ground game. But this, they will both tell you, is the weakest part of their game. It is. Now, Gina said she's ready for the ground. She wants to go to the ground. A submission would feel really, really good tonight. But she is not in a dominant position right now. Carano trying to keep Caitlin Young close. Work. Young doing a good job of using the cage, as you can see, and stacking up Carano. Now Young. Now Gina's got to make a decision. She's got to kick her away or pull her back in. Ground or stand up. There's a roundhouse landing to the body for Carano. She backs up Young with the jab, but those kicks from Caitlin Young so Gina's beating her to the jab every time, but she's pulling her hands back a little bit low and getting counterpunched. Eight seconds remaining in the round. Carano breathing heavy. She's tried to keep her distance with the front kicks. There's another looping right hand. And so far, they're well on their way to stealing the show, just like I told you. Conviction. Taking the fight to the ground was where I thought Gina had some real experience in this game. Caitlin's coming in power kicking. Gina sweeps the leg right out, ends up in guard position, but ends up in top. That's where I know she wanted to be to do a little ground and pound and do a little bit of damage. When they started exchanging rights, they were both landing. Gina needed to cover herself a little bit more. She's a good power puncher. And she's a good power puncher. And there are no Cinderella slipper jaws on these two ladies, that's for sure. No way, but here's the ground action. Gina's using her leg right now underneath her chin. She's using it as a bar right now to, to be underneath there and choke, apply pressure to the chin, pulling Caitlin's head down. She's choking her here. She just doesn't have her wrapped up. Round two scheduled for three. Wouldn't it be nice if they could maintain the pace of round number one? Gina Carano in the black trunks. 
And Caitlin Young in the black and white trunks. Both of these ladies proficient in Muay Thai. Eight point strikers, feet, elbows, knees, and hands. There's a knee by Young, trying to drive Carano backwards, and does to the gate. Carano turns her back. Already one, two, genius. three, she by Carano. Right. And Young responds with a stiff right hand of her own. Ooh, cut kick, dangerous. Another cut kick Caitlin, behind the knee. Caitlin's starting to get her rhythm. Look at her bounce. She's bouncing herself into a punch kick rhythm. That's traditional Muay Thai. Definitely finding her group, but eats that straight hand. Stu two by four jab by Gina Carano. Carano winded. Carano has a beautiful jab, and she's not only jabbing, but she's covering her face at the same time. It's a great protective maneuver, but it doesn't allow you to open up for combinations. Remember, Carano only had a three-week training camp, and so far, so good. She's proving to have the heart of a champion, but Caitlin Young really in the thick of things here. Caitlin Young got hit with a clean shot. She's blinking her eyes and in trouble. Young is in trouble. Here comes Carano. She got hit right in the nose, folks, and that'll make you tear up and blink. From here to eternity. Now she holds on. A minute 30 left in the round. Scheduled for three. 140 pounds. Two Muay Thai specialists. Carano beginning to breathe laboriously, Frank. She is. She's getting gassed. She's getting a little bit sloppy. Oh, no, she's hurt. Forward. She's hurt now. Here's Carano looking for the finish. Gina's got to go from the head to the body, back up through the center, and go for the knockout right here. Carano with that front kick, hitting Young right in the bread basket. Young yielding. Carano, does he have enough? Young in trouble. Here's Carano. She's punches in bunches. Young trying to hold on. Conviction drops her with the front kick. And now she moves in for the rear naked choke. Can she get her hooks in?